everybody, Possum Patty here. It's April 27th and I'm nature journaling. I made a note on my journal this morning. The sky is a gray flannel blanket. It's been raining and drizzling all day, just as it was all yesterday afternoon and last night. So I decided to look for a bit of color. It just so happens when I looked out the window in the morning, I saw a robin fly up on top of an old dead tree. At the bird feeder, there was a chipping sparrow with a rusty cap. And when I looked out the kitchen window, a red-tailed hawk flew by. Yesterday, on an old birch tree, I saw some bright orange lichen. I'm just exploring leaves coming out. It's an old log. Get some powder horn lichen on it, I think. Some moss. Lots of lichen on this tree. Oh, it looks like a like an orange lichen. Crustos. Folios. and moss around the bottom. I think I'll bring my computer over, see what I can see. So I'm going to make my colors of the day today, red, orange, and rust. In Claire Walker Leslie's Keeping a Nature Journal, she makes a note about observing shapes and color. If you're looking for a theme for a particular day, try focusing on colors. Look around you and note the various colors you see. Then record all the objects that display each of these colors. So that was my theme for today. I'm going to show you a little bit about how I made the page. Drawing first with pencil, going over the lines with a Micron waterproof pen, and then adding a little bit of watercolor. I did a quick sketch in pencil of finding red in nature. I did the red-tailed hawk, the chipping sparrow with a rusty cap, and the red-breasted robin. And I just quickly drew in where I'm going to put the tree with the fire dot lichen. And now I'm going to take my Micron pen, just go over the lines, darken them up, then I'm going to erase the pencil lines, and then I'm going to use my watercolors to color it in. When that's dry, then I'm going to add my text. I'm going to start with my red tail hawk.
Sometimes when I go over and pen, I change things a little bit. I just moved the tree from this side to that side, and I filled in the details. And a couple of changes on the birds, not many, just a little bit. Now let the ink dry for a few minutes so I don't smudge it. And then I start erasing. Now comes the fun part, adding some color. First thing I'm going to do is just wet my colors. Let them set a second. Try to use a big brush, but I do have a small brush for details. I'm going to start up in this corner. And I might be using some dots off my Daniel Smith. Sample cards here. Kind of like this Payne's blue gray. Thank you. 
My apologies to Mr. Audubon. I did not draw every feather in detail of the birds, but just wanted to put them on the page in a quick sketch. The words on my page follow my pictures around, and this is what it says. To the robin on the snag, good morning and hello. Greetings and salutations to the red-tailed hawk and chipping sparrow. There's a fire dot lichen on the tree. What do you know? I found all three. Red, orange, rusty. And wouldn't you know, as soon as I finished the page, a red cardinal came by the feeder. So I hope you look for some color to put in your nature journal today. Thanks for coming along today on this Inside Color Adventure. Bye-bye.